haven't heard a lot about this little car, then you must have spent the best part of 2020 in an off-the-grid hermit's colony with cotton wool in your ears. That's because the Toyota Gazoo Racing Yaris promises to be the most exciting and unique high-performance car from the Japanese car maker in 20 years. But is it? With 200 kilowatts from just 1.6 litres, the GR Yaris engine is the most powerful production three-cylinder to date, and it sends its power to all four wheels via a manual gearbox. Compared with the standard Yaris shopping cart, the GR is longer, wider, faster, fatter with a pH, and we can't wait to see what it can do in the hands of a race ace. There's more to winning the Motor Performance Car of the Year than outright speed, but clocking the quickest lap of our test track each year certainly helps. For the 2021 contest, we took our fleet of 10 cars to the Winton circuit and handed the keys to race ace Carl Reinle. Read anything about this car? Jumped in with no expectations, and your, your first first thought is uh, is obviously the ergonomics. You think I can't get the seat low enough. Um, like most things, though, you, you do get used to it. By the third lap, I was really starting to feel confident in it. I probably didn't didn't promote as much confidence early on as some of the other cars I've driven. But by the end, you, you can you know you can really throw this thing around. Um, braking ability is extraordinary, which is understandable given the platform. I feel like I'm working the hardest in, in this car of, of all the cars I've driven. For one, it's a manual gearbox, I'm having to heel and toe. Uh, the position, you kind of lack a little bit of bolstering as well, so you, you, you lose that kind of you, that connectedness, to, I guess, to the car. Um, the, the only real criticism from a dynamic point of view is it does have a, a lot of understeer through the mid corner. If you just bomb it in a little bit too hard, off the corners, the diffs, not bad, but but again, if, if you just if you don't get enough uh, rotation at that mid corner, the front end washes out on the exit, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a hell of a lot of fun though. Uh, can't can't wipe the smile off my face after that one. That's the last of our 2021 Performance Car of the Year shootout videos, but it certainly isn't the last time we put high performance hardware on the track. Subscribe to the Motor Channel to get all the latest action.